I'm Zwanimir Krasier, an international cardiologist at Texas Heart Institute Center for Cardiovascular Care. I have the privilege of serving as the editor-in-chief of the Texas Heart Institute Journal. It is an immense responsibility that I am genuinely grateful for. This year we are celebrating 50th anniversary of Texas Heart Institute Journal. In 1974, the first issue of the Texas Heart Institute Journal emerged from an office housed in the Cullen Cardiovascular Surgical Research Laboratory under leadership of world-renowned cardiovascular surgeon Denton A. Cooley. He performed a lot of complex procedures, including the first transplant of the heart in the United States and first artificial heart in the world. A significant focus of our laboratories has been in development and testing of mechanical assist substitutes. The first editor-in-chief of Texas Heart Institute Journal was Dr. Norman, a cardiovascular surgeon. Following him, the Texas Heart Institute chief editor was Robert J. Hall, who was also chief of cardiology at our institutions, followed by Terry Ferguson, and more recently by Dr. James T. Willerson, former Texas Heart Institute president and the editor-in-chief. Dr. Willerson was a distinguished cardiologist and scientist, as well as the editor-in-chief of Circulation, which was housed at our institution for 10 years. One of the most crucial aspects of my role in choosing a team of esteemed editors, associate editors, and editorial board members from diverse disciplines across the cardiovascular care spectrum to assist in navigating the vast amounts of knowledge in the field of uh, cardiovascular medicine today. Our objective is to publish high quality articles that influence clinical practice and promote the education of early career professionals by encouraging them to conduct research to publish their findings in Texas Art Institute Journal. I'm sincerely grateful to have invited Dr. Joseph G. Rogers, the Texas Heart Institute's president and CEO, to join our associate editorial team. Dr. Rogers has extensive experience as an editor of multiple peer-reviewed journals and is renowned for his exceptional writing skills and expertise in heart failure. The Texas Heart Institute Journal upholds the mission of the Texas Heart Institute to improve cardiovascular health through trailblazing research, thought leadership, education, and patient care. We actively encourage new authors to submit their original work and gain valuable experience with the medical publication process, and we're grateful for their contributions in advancing medical knowledge. When Dr. Rogers joined Texas Heart Institute as the president and graciously accepted the invitation to join us as an associate editor, I knew that he would prioritize addressing topics of utmost importance in our current times, such as non-medical drivers of health, prevention, and tackling issues of race and disparities. Our peer-reviewed journal has a rich history of providing clinically significant contributions to the medical literature. The Texas Heart Institute Journal upholds the mission of the Texas Heart Institute to improve cardiovascular health through trailblazing research, thought leadership, education, and patient care. Furthermore, I'm honored to have Dr. Emerson Perrin, an expert in interventional cardiology, to join us. For decades, Dr. Perrin has led groundbreaking clinical research in cell therapy and advanced catheter-based procedures. In my role at the Texas Heart Institute Journal, I'm responsible for disseminating crucial advancements in medical science to cardiovascular practitioners worldwide. We approach this responsibility seriously, ensuring we aggregate, curate, and publish responsible scientific and medical breakthroughs. We are also very fortunate to have the guidance of Dr. Alexander Posalian, Dr. Jose Diaz, and Dr. Stephanie Coulter as associate editors. When you think of the editor-in-chief of a journal, it is essential to recognize that you are referring to a rare and exceptional physician. This role requires a unique set of skills and qualities. Dr. Zvonimir Krasier embodies intellectual curiosity, integrity, and embodies the true essence of being a physician, an investigator, and a leader. We are very fortunate to have him lead this crucial educational endeavor. In today's world, leadership requires unquestionable integrity. One must be trustworthy and inspire trust in others. 
The journal is celebrating its fifth decade now under Dr. Crazier's leadership. We've come a long way since our inception in 1974, and our commitment to scientific integrity has been the backbone of our success. Dr. Rogers and Dr. Stephanie Coulter have dedicated significant time and effort to engaging with broader community and facilitating these critical conversations. It has been an incredible journey so far, and none of this would have been possible without our entire team's hard work and commitment. We are taking bold steps to modernize the journal. We work hard to streamline our editorial process. We can proudly say that our median time to first decision is on an average four weeks. We transitioned to a continuous publication. It was a decision driven by our dedication to the timely dissemination of scientific knowledge. This decision has been a game changer. Authors appreciate the faster publication process, allowing their research to reach the scientific community swiftly. That's a remarkable achievement by our dedicated staff and the reviewers. Finally, we decided in 2023 to become fully open access with a Creative Commons license. And that decision has been well received by the scientific community. We are indexed in prestigious databases such as PubMed, Scopus, Google Scholar, and Clarivate. Our research has expanded far beyond our expectations. Our goal was always to disseminate quality research and make it easily accessible. We consider ourselves incredibly fortunate to be guided by Dr. Zvonimir Krasier in this crucial educational endeavor. His expertise and leadership are invaluable in advancing knowledge and promoting excellence in cardiovascular care. The future of the Texas Heart Institute Journal is bright. We could not have reached 50 years without you to promote education, research, and publication in the cardiovascular field. We invite you to continue spreading the news in cardiovascular advancements and educating the next generation of professionals. Our vision endures with your scholastic contributions and partnership.